what it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. It may be May, but June is on the way. Hey, man, first off and foremost, shout out to your rage, man. I just came back from a stream. I'm um, trying to make sure I get y'all this game before I go to sleep. Um, and thank goodness, bro, I was not spoiled no type of way whatsoever. I'm excited because we got game five. Dallas Mavericks versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hey, man, if you uh, see me and the man Rage stream, can we get a YRG X flight up in the Chizzy chat, man? I uh, had a great time. Um, met the homie Rage for the first time, man. 100% authentic, 100% good vibes. I'm pretty sure you guys know where his um, stream is at, like kicking stuff, by the way. Um, it's on, uh, you know, you, you uh, check it out, the, the full vibe and everything. But with that being said, we got another game in the series. The Western Conference Finals, round three, Mavericks with Luka, Kyrie, P.J. Washington, Lively, Gafford, Tim Hardaway Jr. And the rest are nobodies, bro. The, yeah, Derek Jones and the rest are nobodies. The Wolves with Ant, Rudy Gilbert, Cat, Nas Reed, McConley and Michael. Uh, the Anderson dude, McDaniels, and the rest are no bags. Check it out. This is back in Minnesota. Now, I ain't gonna lie to Wolves. This surprised me a little bit winning the last game. I predicted the series going to seven. I wonder how this, oh, they caught a Goldson. I wonder how the Timberwolves crowd is going to feel like being down 3-1. Donnekit. Holy. Uh-oh, someone's down. He got hit in the nuts, the jewels. Oh, hold on, my bad. I was distracted because I was looking at, is he good? It flying up high. Up, up, up. Put back. Donnekit. Bottoms. Got Donna Kick step back. Mid range. That swing pass. Uh... Oh, tip in. We got Donna Kick. Floater alerts. Oh, hold on now. Hold on, I got a little taking it up. Let's play all basketball. Got Ant running, fast breaking, Ant losing control. And one! Holy. Got McConley and Michael in the corner like a prostitute. Okay. Got Kyrie pull it up. Mid range. Donna Kick. Up, up, and away! The line, leave the air, oops! Conley and Michael with the brick. Luca. Swing pass, good bounce pass to PJ Washington. 22 18 Dallas. Got Donnekin running, just gonna step back. Mid range. And my man Cat, bro, you gotta get us some points on the board. Donnekin! Holy moly! He talking some shit. What was he saying? Damn. Damn. I'm not going to lie to you. Nigga activated a Zen. Donna kick again? No way. No way. This guy, he, bro, he activated a Zen. What Chico that he inserts in the game. Donna kick. What the fuck? I guess it was a pass. Does it count as a pass or it count as a miss? I know he didn't try to shoot it, obviously. Gary! Kyrie driving, stepping back. Ooh, we got a assistant principal with the Tris. McCauley and Michael. Whoa, wild ass shot. That man, Kyrie. <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh my gosh! 
across the damn substitute teacher. Damn. Bro. Get, hang up the jersey, bro. Hang up the jersey, bro. Hang up the jersey. Hang up the jersey. Let me make sure if this was a push. No, there was not a hand in sight. Oh, my gosh. Nigga like he's playing Twister, bro. Nigga was on a final round. No way. No. 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 Look at this, bro. This man playing Twister. And, and he made that hole. Shit. Bro, they losing by 40. Cat. 46 to 28? Nigga, y'all niggas is at home. Got Don with that floater. Cat, what you doing, brother? Cat? Alright, good recovery. Nice. Got Donna kick running. Swing pass to Derek Jones for the chess. Got Cat. Wow. He should have got a foul called right there. I'm not going to lie. Ant running and finishing. Kyrie stepping back. Yo, Nasri, have you sort of fucking damn thing, bro? I'm about to start calling you looking like somebody's on the PJ in the corner like a prostitute. Kai? Bank is open because it is Friday. It literally is. No bullshit when I'm reacting to this. In the uh, late night tech movie. Well, it's like one almost, right? Kyrie! Stop the yip yapping. Bro, 61 to 38. Ow. Bro, I got flashbang. God. You dirty minds out there. Bro, 61 to fucking 38. Minnesota, what the fuck, bro? Minnesota. What the actual fuck is going on? Y'all niggas literally have a super team. You have three all-stars. Two, one superstar and two all-stars. How? In the playoffs right now? Maybe they come back, but nigga. Hold up, nigga, it's the second quarter. I just realized. I thought it was the third quarter. Bro, Dallas is about to have 70 in the first half. Where's the defense? Nigga, I thought it was the third quarter. It's the, it's the second. Gary! Cat. Ew. Brother E. What's that? BJ! Swing pass. Conley. Okay. Donna Kit. Floater alerts. Daniels, dude. Got a swing pass. One more. Derek. Oh, one more to PJ. Gonna fire it up for the Triss. 80 to 46, bro. I'm about to turn this shit off, bro. I'm missing County Sheep for this damn snooze fest. Are you serious? Are you serious? Daniels for the Triss. Ant, step up, bro. Three to one, y'all niggas is losing in the series. If I'm Ant, bro, you need 20 shots this quarter alone. Do you really want it? Oh, my goodness. Gary! Nigga. Kyrie? Damn. Ant. Damn, okay, okay, Ant. This is what I was just talking about. You got a packed out 40,000 niggas in the stadium, bro. 40,000 people in the stadium, bro. Bro, there's seats, there's empty seats I see. People leaving? Are people leaving? That was lucky out. 89-64, running. Cat. Oh! Oh! 92 to 69, it's crazy. This is a snooze fest. Yo, the Wolves, bro. If y'all niggas don't step it up, bro. Cat. Finger roll. All right, the third quarter's winding down. Donna kicked out the ball. 44, 43. Donnie Swing pass. Derek. Hell nah. Rudy Gobert, you need to smack that shot, bro. 
Aren't you the defensive player of the year? Yeah, nigga, y'all should have gave that shit to Curry. He plays better defense than Rudy Gobert. Oh, and Edwards! I haven't seen Rudy Gobert block a shot like that at all this season. 101 78. 940. PJ. Tip it. And. So that's the uh, uh, Anderson dude. 105 to 80. Curry! Damn. Them niggas is getting a spanking, bro. Got Ant. And one! Very nice. <laughs> and Ant was pissed. Donicate? Oh my goodness. He can't miss. Yeah, yeah, look at this shit. I can't believe I noticed this. Look at the, <laughs> look at the people on the court side seats. <laughs> look at the people on the court side seats. <laughs> look at this nigga right here. He like, how? And then you got this dude right here. He got his hand over his head. He's like, fuck. Fucking 20,000. And I'm seeing Donicate just shit on my team like this. Nigga, that would make me an instant Donicate hater, bro. Fam. Imagine, bro. Yo, these niggas is literally, this is a school night too. Well, a work night, whatever you want to call it for people that ain't like in, you know, school or over here. Like, bro, this is the middle of the week and your team getting smacked by 50. What do you do? Wow. Mavericks, he poor. Oh, that's a rules of tripping. My dumb ass. Okay, 111, though, 88. It ain't that bad, but it still is bad. No, it's, it's kind of bad. Maybe the Wolves storm for a comeback? A fairy tale story? Maybe an overtime? Yeah, I, come on, Wolves. I know y'all niggas ain't going out like that. Donica gets 36 points and 10 boards so far. <laughs> this man lively. That dunk is better than the dunk contest. Yo, the Mavericks are just shitting on the Wolves so bad. Bro. Three seconds left in the season. The Minnesota Timberwolves get the fuck up out of here. This is their third finals appearance of all time. Their last one they won in 2011. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, nigga, clap that shit up. I ain't going to lie. Ain't nobody in the fucking world would have been able to tell me. The Mavericks in 2024 would have been in the finals. Like, this is like one of those, you have a better chance of simulating like a my career in like 2K and getting the Wolves in the finals versus you actually getting an IRL. I, I mean, uh, the, the, the Mavericks in the finals rather than like IRL. Bro, I'm literally shocked, bro. I'm shocked. I am shocked. It's over with. I predicted this series to go to, what, seven games, I think? Six games? It's over with the Dallas Mavericks. Yo, like, high key? What's the, um, the Mavericks are ranked fifth. This is, it, it, does this count as an upset? This has to be up there with like one of the top upsets, like top 10 upsets of all time. Because if you really look at it, the Wolves, I believe at one point in the NBA season in a, 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 this year, it was, wasn't they two or one? And that's how it's going to end, bro. That's how it's going to end. The Wolves are done. The McDaniels, dude, back to the sneaker plug, brother. Only eight points, three or six. I mean, doesn't he just average this? Doesn't he average this? I don't know. Rudy Gobert, nine points, five rebounds. I think Rudy Gobert's going to be the first one traded from this team uh, during this offseason. I think the Wolves gave him a chance. What, he's been there for like two years now, or has it only been a year? Not even. Did he get traded this season? I don't even remember. I think he did because with the Mitchell package deal, right? And then you have Cat. I mean, he actually didn't. He, he could have shot better. One of six from three. He had a lot of free throws. That's his crazy. 28 points for Cat to finish off the season. McConley and Michael, two of five, seven points. 28 for Edwards. Nine rebounds, six assists, 
to finish off the season for the Wolves. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was expecting to low-key bash Edwards. Edwards didn't even have a bad game if you really look at it. The Wolves just got completely outplayed. This is not the same Wolves team that I've seen during the regular season. And then, then again, it's like they don't have the experience. They also, you know, um, they just don't got the experience. I mean, yo, Cat and Edwards, they both had good games. If you, I mean, if you really want to look at it technically, like, why is they didn't shoot the best, but they scored 30 points. You round it off. That's not bad. I mean, that's what you expect. Um, you know, for the rest, I don't know. Uh, then you got P.J. Washington with 12, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Then you have five points, and then you have 11, and then you have 36 and five assists for Kyrie. Then you have 36 and then 10, and then five assists for Donikick. Hey, man, Donikick and Kyrie went off. Um, shout out to P.J. Washington, man. A lot of progression throughout the regular season into now. Uh, you know, the last team he went to, they didn't treat him right, and now... He literally, bro, it's a whole smack in the face. He's going to have a chance to win his first ever finals trophy, man. Um, PJ uh, and the rest of the Mavericks, uh, Donnie Kick and Kyrie, hey, best of luck. I need you guys to comment down right now the prediction of the series. Celtics versus the Dallas Mavericks. My bad if I'm a little, you know what I'm saying, running out of energy at the end. You know, I've been up since motherfucking early. I actually got to get up early again, too. I had two IRLs today. Uh, popped in on the man, uh, Rage's stream. Um, if you guys uh, check that out, um, you know, uh, hey man, uh, we're gonna look to see if there's any extra clips. That's gonna wrap it up. Uh, put the predictions down though. Um, I got this series going to seven games. I got the Celtics winning. The Celtics have more experience. I would love to see Kyrie, especially get her and, and PJ get a ring and Luca get a ring. Um, but I just don't see them honestly winning the, um, you know, the finals over. They don't have experience. If you want to be realistic, they don't have the experience. Um, we got some, we got a, actually a good amount of clips, actually about like seven. Let's check them out. The first one. You have Edwards walks off after Dallas Mavericks advanced to the finals. Oh, he's right there. Skipping ahead. He well, gave his shoes away. Uh, I'm not going to be this. What do you guys consider about this? And mind you, I'm trying to finesse this because this is more of like the full clip. See, you know, if you're trying to block it, you feel me? It's late at night. It's about like 1 a.m. I ain't trying to do that extra in there, man. But, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this isn't as bad. Like, I have seen niggas like LeBron, like, bro, just straight up walked off the court, not dap anybody up. I don't know if Edwards dapped anybody up, but he gave somebody his shoes. I mean, he got a pass right there for giving somebody his shoes. That could have been somebody that just went to his first ever NBA game in his life, and he just got awarded and gifted a superstar shoes. I'm not even going to bash Edwards for this one. I mean, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic, okay? Like... Yeah, it is still bad sportsmanship if he didn't dap everybody up. Now, I don't know if he did or didn't, but if he did it, guys, they lost 4-1 to in the series. They were almost the number one ranked team in the Western Conference. Somebody is going to be a little bit mad. He also gave his shoes away. I feel like this is an, an excusable, you know and, what I'm saying, uh, walk-off. Yes. All right, so we have Edwards reacts. We won't look at the full thing, obviously. Uh, but Edwards reacts to being eliminated in Game 5 versus Mavs. We'll be back. Slovenia, Shaq right actually there. spoke German to Luka Doncic after he advanced Seven to the NBA Finals. Shaq can uh, speak multiple languages? Staying up over there and watching and calling you afterwards? Uh, I had too many messages. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved. Appreciate right. you, man. There it is. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. That's the worst. What are you talking about? My this bad. man, Shaq. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just thinking up all languages. Adios. All right. Um, next Kyrie. one, we have uh, Kyrie uh, reacts to advances in the NBA Finals and faces yeah, Celtics. Bro, now that I remember, this is his rival team because he played on them. And apparently, I low-key think, if I don't mis mistake, they did him low-key a little bit wrong. They just, you know what I'm saying? It was just ungrateful of his presence. Many times during wow. this season, you've been waiting seven years to get back to the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it feel, and, and especially coming off the way things uh, went last year, you know, after you got to Dallas. Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, 
definitely don't take this moment for granted because of how hard we had to work uh, to get here. And we had to earn our spot into the NBA Finals. And uh, we had to go against some great opponents, OKC, Clippers, Wolves. Uh, and I feel like they got us better uh, as a team. They really challenged us on the defensive end, made us focus in. And um, you know, I thank every single one of them like I did the previous two series for making me better. Um, you know, and it has been seven long years, but it's, it's also felt like um, the right amount of time, you know, in, in order to uh, reward myself, be in the locker room with my teammates and enjoying it. A uh, long time coming. So we are going to enjoy this, but we obviously know this is just a pit stop in the journey and we got to get ready for, uh, you know, that court turning gold, as I, as I like to say. You know, the shoes turn gold, the uh, jerseys turn gold. And, um, you know, as a kid, that's what you dream of uh, getting to is uh, the finals and being able to I won't lie, the, the, the NBA finals jerseys, you can't even lie. I know like the NBA jerseys nowadays isn't as like, like the best and what the quality and like how they looked wise the early 2000s before. But bro, nah, them NBA jerseys got aura, bro, with the finals logo on it. Hey man, I'm excited. Really I honestly like, I'm not even mad at this finals matchup. Obviously my Warriors deserve to be in the finals thanks to Adam Silver. You know what I'm saying? Giving the Warriors a shitty ass schedule and shit. Um, you know, we should be in the finals, but hey, man, we got, you know what I'm saying, the teams that really you don't see all the time. I mean, you see the Celtics in 2022, but, you know, bro, we ain't see the Mavericks. They only, this is our third time being in the finals. The best with the whole world watching. You know, and, and tonight, Luke obviously comes out and, uh, you know, he's hitting shots. He's sneering at the crowd. He's, it's kind of the full mm -hmm. Luke experience to start things off. What, what's your feeling when you see him in that mode uh, to open the game? Man, I, I was enjoying it just like everyone else was. Uh, he had 20 points, I think, in like six minutes or seven minutes, and you're just watching a special performance take place. But, uh, uh, you know, as a teammate, you just want to continue to do a little things uh, to bring the lead a little bit further along um, and just continue to play well. Uh, we, we were happy where we were, but we weren't satisfied because we knew it was a long game. But when Lucas starts off the game like that, I mean, we're a tough team to beat. So. You know, kudos to him having a great series, a great playoff run in general, but uh, just leading us that way and um, being able to kind of ease the tension a little bit and the emotions, you know, starting off the game. We see uh, you know, our guy, Luca scoring 20 like that. I mean, it eases everybody's pressure a little bit. Was, I don't, bro, I'm not even trying to, I don't want to do my man Kyrie wrong. Bro, I don't mean to delay, bro. It's something about, like, hearing Kyrie speak, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's like a peaceful, and it's just like, man, you just tell he's a genuine nigga, man. You know, I know, I'm about to meet him one day. It's zero, you guys have the ceremony. You're walking into the locker room with the trophy. Mm -hmm. What's kind of racing through your mind at that time? All right, we'll probably cap it off on that part right there. We're going to watch the full interview. And we got Donna so kick with the, uh, oh. we got two other clips after. You had like, you know, 12 points in four minutes. What's going through your head early in the game? Set the tone. Uh, just got to set the tone. Uh, that's about it. Your uh, your dad almost didn't make it here, but uh, he was certainly there by the end. What what did it mean oh, nice. to, to have family him? Family support, you know, as you go to your first NBA Finals. Yeah, a lot. Uh, they were they had a seven hour delay, uh, but he made it, so it meant a lot to be here. You know, we we've seen you do this before in Phoenix, where you just kind of rip the hearts out of the uh, the crowd on the road in the elimination game. What is that? How would you describe that feeling to demoralize the crowd on the road in this situation? Uh, it's it's a good feeling, man. I can't lie. Uh, just go out there, and, you know. It's us against them. Uh, just stay together. Uh, but that feeling, that feeling is great. Was there one fan in particular that you kept going at early on? And yeah. What what was that about? Oh, I can't There's... tell you. If I tell you, I can sue him. Really? What's going on, guys? What did he mean by this part right here? There's okay, so I, I'm not dumbass. I didn't read the fucking title, guys. People that watch the full game, what what happened? He says he could have sued Wolves Heckler. You can wait. NBA players just sue like if some a Heckler basically means that somebody's just fucking like just being harassed and like niggas in a game chat basically in real life. Well, they know, can really sue. That has it ever happened before? That gets me going. Everybody knows that by now. So wow, just gotta do it. And then, um, he probably, what I'm thinking, um, because, like, you know, I'm not trying to be that one or just, you know, but obviously, like, there's freedom of speech. But the only thing I'm thinking is that maybe they leaked out something about him. And if that's the case, that's fucking weird as fuck. You go to the NBA game and don't even keep it about basketball. But anybody that knows about this, I didn't know you can NBA players can just sue. You know, you guys obviously uh, last for, year for, for a fan heckling them. Morning, end up in the lottery. 
to make this leap, what do you think were kind of the, the key developments to make this happen just in the span of a year? Insane. I think we got a great team, uh, but most importantly, we got the great guys and great guys on the team. From players to coaches uh, to everybody in the team, we have great guys. And that's the most important thing. Uh, like I said, we stay together and we just play basketball, you know, especially I think we beat three very, very, very good teams. Uh, and uh, having home the home advantage, uh, which is which is pretty good for us. For you personally, growing up watching the NBA from afar, maybe watching the NBA Finals late at night, what does it mean to you to reach? This I didn't watch. I didn't watch because it was Too four late. in the morning. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I had school next next day. What does it mean to you personally to, <laughs> to reach this milestone six years into your career? It means a lot, man. It means a lot. Uh, it's, it's not easy. It was very hard road, uh, very hard, uh, but we are here, uh, you know. Uh, obviously, we're not done. We need four more, but I think today we all deserve to enjoy this win. Wow, man. All right. We got uh, Don Kiki wasn't happy to have his beer taken away after the finals. Bro, I will never drink a beer a day in my life, bro. What the hell? And that was Michael Finley, <laughs> the Vice President of Basketball Operations for the Dallas Mavericks. Oh. With quite possibly the smoothest beer steal you'll ever see. And you hear Luca. That nigga Debo this beer. He bought a he bought a frame that <laughs> Hey, he ain't slick. He trying to act like, oh nah, like you can't drink this on the uh, press conference. It's not professional. Oh uh, nah, he's about to frame that. You ain't you ain't uh fooling nobody. Alright, man. Last but not least, we got Dallas Mavericks locker room celebrate advancing to the NBA finals. I'm happy to see Kyrie, man. I'll take this moment for granted at all. It took me seven long years. Seven long years, baby. Just to get this one trophy. We got a tough opponent in front of us to get the other one, man. Looking forward to it. What an amazing night, huh? Amazing. That's it. But all we have to do is win one. No matter when. Kyrie in the second half, though. Man, you know how it is. Yeah. Mr. Fourth Quarter, Mr. One, Two, Three, Four Quarter. And overtime. Oh, they dapped up. I like that shot that they got right there. You can tell, maybe, you see, this. I, I, that's the thing, maybe the NBA not even be able to show. I, I, maybe Edwards dapped up everybody behind the scenes and shit. Maybe thought it out, like, on some shit. Like, hey, this ain't, this ain't, you know what I'm saying, valid. Let me just go ahead and... <laughs> Damn, Jason Kidd going to the finals for real. That's inspirational. That's crazy. Jason Kidd used to literally play for the Mavs. Play for the Mavs and the Nets. Yo, that's that's cold, bro. Jason Kidd. Like we said, they came out with no sense of urgency. They let Luca get like. What happened to Luca's knee? He's been but bloody since like last. Uh, like Luca just came out. Uh, and last round. Defense and he, he just went crazy, and then he took a couple of minutes off, and then Kyrie went crazy, and it was over. It was over from the start. And I want to say something too, Ernie. You know, you said something the other night. You feeling amazing? Feeling amazing? I mean, if you look around, got our teammates. Oh, yeah, we were seeing that part. Hey, man, that's going to wrap it up, man. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks are going to the NBA Finals. Once again, put your predictions down. I got the Celtics in uh, six games. No, seven games, I said. My bad. Keep your predictions. Same. We're not changing. 